Hello, today we are going to design a logo, creating this 3D-like sphere as the symbol. So I'm going to start with a circle as you can guess. Simply hold shift on your keyboard to maintain the perfect ratio. You can use alignment tools here to move it to the center of your artboard. I think I'm going to add additional oval to help ourselves imagine that this flat shape is a 3D sphere. That's our main task for this one. We will try to make a fake 3D feel to this 2D flat shape. So I'm placing additional oval now here around the top and I think I'm going to place something very, very similar at the bottom of this circle. I simply drag the shape while holding option key to make a duplicate that's very very nice trick you don't need to copy and paste you just hold option key while you are dragging the shape on your mac if i could remember all windows is alt key the same feature all right here we are this is our sample one so we're going to do the same trick to duplicate the main shape draw rectangle and now i'm going to cut it through so I got only half of the shape that I want to work with. Let's duplicate this element as well and as you can see already I'm going to create like half of the sphere hollow inside. So duplicate this one to make the whole smaller oval inside the bigger one. You will see it better after I change the color so let's make it a little bit darker. All right as you can see just a few tricks, three shapes, and we're able to create this fake like half of the sphere, hollow inside. So we can place something inside now. Let's place a smaller sphere inside. I'm using just circle tool again, as you all saw. This is just circle tool, oval tool. Now I'm moving this around the layer panel. You can see all of my layer all the time on the right side of the software. As you can see, each shape is on separate layer. I create a duplicate of this so I can place it in front of the smaller sphere like this. All right, this way we can fake it like this one is inside the bigger one. Of course, it's still popping out over here. So let's make this shape smaller. I will convert this to curve and then I can use not tool. Maybe add some notes here to maintain the sh top part of the shape and then we can simply modify the bottom part. Maybe extra note here will help like this to pull it in and on this side and that's it. Now it's hidden so look like the whole sphere is inside this shell. Nice, I think we got all our basic shapes in place. Let's rotate this one. Hold the shift for rotation. So you have like jumps 15 degrees. All right, so this is our main shape. We got all shapes in place. Now we need to add some gradients. Gradients will help us with this 3D like look. So first on the smaller sphere, radial gradient. You can always modify the colors to make the contrast even greater. Maybe like this. Cool feature is we can add a little bit of noise here to the darker color. All right, and I think our smaller sphere is ready. Now we just need to work to make the shell around more realistic. And of course, I'm going to use gradients as well. So first for this hole here, 
gradient like this so it's kind of like darker color inside so we got like shadows inside All right, we got the hole ready. And now I just realized we need one more element here. We need a shadow. So I'm using pen tool now to draw some wacky shape that I'm going to use as shadow. That This bigger shell will cast a shadow on the smaller sphere because it's inside. So I use pen tool to draw this strange shape, black color. Now we're going to add layer style gaussian blur so we blur this layer like this change the blending mode to overlay and place it here i move it layer below so now it's casting shadow on my sphere it's also leaking the shadow out on the bigger one but we will fix that soon first let's reduce opacity of this shadow so it's not too strong all right let's match this, these two layers let's duplicate them and match them together so i make duplicate first and then using the add shapes and i'm going to use this to cut the hole into this bigger sphere so i can move it at the top like this perfect so we got this nice shadow cast on the smaller sphere make it much more realistic now all right and the last element, the biggest sphere, the, sh the shell. Again, radial gradient over here. We can modify the colors. Right, this element over here here the edge of it maybe we can change this a little bit so it's darker just a little bit like this all right I think we're done with the symbol as you can see we achieved some nice realistic 3d effect here by using just 2d shapes with gradients and some extra shadows so nicely done now you can type the name of your company you can modify the font size, color and style using the built-in type tool. I will just put some sample text here, your brand. Okay. And this way we were able to create a simple sphere-like logo using just the vector tools inside App into Designer. Here it is. I think it's quite nice effect in just what eight minutes of work so well done guys if you'd like to learn more about this software affinity designer i got also a six hour long project based course you can access on udemy so it's paid one it's just 19 dollars for six hours of tutorials all right i go through multiple projects there from icons to vector illustrations so if you are interested in this link will be in the description and i will see you in my next tutorial